Welcome to King David Ministries with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. Here is Reverend Royal. Well, praise God, this is a day that the Lord, he has made. I will and you should rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome again to another edition of King David Ministries. Uh, this broadcast has been designed with you in mind. And we praise God for letting us see another day that we have never seen before. I am the pastor of King David Ministries. And we thank and praise God for this ministry that which God has put me in charge of. However, when we talk about King David Ministries, so far as I'm concerned, I am just the under shepherd. And what I've oh, glory to God. And what I have learned, uh, the more I seek so far as what the purpose of the master is concerned, being that I am a uh, under shepherd. But Jesus said, when the chief shepherd will appear. You ain't praying with me. That's why I said King David ministry, I gave it to the Lord. I, I gave it to him. That, you know, I, I, I gave the name, but he actually gave me the name because when it started, it was based on my life. And we started actually right here. Uh, with uh, uh, Reverend uh, Blackwell, which he was Little David Ministry, and then the Lord said, okay, and that went for a while, and he said, now change it to King David. And at that time, it was King David, it was actually the Voices of Recovery, because I was dealing with this way back in the 90s, amen, I was chaplain for the Hollywood and Vine Recovery Center, amen, and I was, I, the Lord put it upon my heart to do a radio broadcast and I knew this great man of God Reverend Thomas Blackwood and I went to him and and there were other people that that were in charge here that knew me I you know when 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 when, when things start to work you know that's what is supposed to be done because when I got here when I got here <laughs> the other lady here I just said well uh, our group was called the anointed ones I wanted to call it the anointed hour but and get them involved they, and they didn't want to at the time um, and um, so I thought of little David because my mother would call me little David amen and, and when I got it did they show you how this thing worked that's why I know I'm right at, at where I am when I got here I had no money no, no, nothing. But I knew it. I had to be. I had to broadcast. As soon as I walked in here, she said, "No problem." It started. It was supposed to have been 15 minutes. I'll give you 30 minutes. Oh, oh, okay. I knew nothing about it. She said, "Well, sign card." She said, "You, you got any money?" I said, "No." She said, "Okay." <laughs> That's God. And then went from 30 minutes, and for years, from 30 minutes, it went to an hour. And we did that for 15 years. So I ain't new to this and true to this. Amen. But I gave it to God. Ain't got nothing to do with but to be the under shepherd to what his purpose is. Because the word of God plainly says, many of the plans in the man's heart, but it is my purpose. That's the intent. That's the intent of this ministry. I don't know about anybody else. I, I, I'm learning about mine. And I'm, I'm just the under shepherd, but he is in charge. And I listen, amen, to try to find out what he wants because it's his voice. See, of many things that I'm learning, God does not speak audibly from the sky all the time, even though he's talking 24-7, 365. However, we're in a time zone. He is not. He is in heaven. We're here. Okay? He doesn't have a body. We do. Again, these things, uh, what I was coming to have not been preached. And in many circles that I've been in, still doesn't been preached, has not been preached. So the bottom line is, in order for God to speak, of course, of course, he's the almighty. He can do what he wants to do, but he, he's a legalist. And he does, he abides by what he has done. Amen. He's a legalist. What do I mean by legalist? Okay, you have a body. God does it. So in order, after man sinned, Jesus was called the last Adam as a legalist. What did he do? He 
started the seen from the unseen. Amen. So in order to redeem us, Jesus had to get a body because this makes you legal. When you don't have it anymore, you're not legal and you got to leave. So you didn't see Aunt Susie last night. You did not. You maybe saw familiar. Well, I saw Uncle James. He came to talk. No, you didn't. No, no, you did not. Because they're no longer legal. Now, we have a greater crowd of witnesses. They may do themselves fit, but they're not here. Now, I tell you who is here. That is the governor, which is the abortion, the Holy Ghost. He's here. The third person to God is here. Do you know that? See, this is information that we need to know. And I'm going to get into this in, in a minute. This is stuff that we need to know. But I didn't hear it, and in many of the circles still don't hear it. But I, I got to I gotta do what I got to do. I have to do what I have to do, amen, because, look, we don't own nothing. We've been called to, to, to do these things. And who called them? Who's authorized to do that? Apostles, a prophet, evangelist, a pastor, a teacher. Ephesians chapter 4, for the edifying of the body of Christ, for the work of the ministry, etc. and so forth. Those are the only ones authorized, amen, by God, amen, amen, to teach and preach the gospel. And I'll get to that in a minute because we know that the gospel is good news, amen. But like I said, for King David ministry, amen, I'm just the under shepherd. I, I, I take second place, a amen. And, you know, so, and, you know, so it's going to go on until Jesus come, whether I'm here or not. A amen. So, um, these are things that, that needs to be known. That's why God speaks. Just say, I'm just saying me. I, I, I can't, I, I can't take well, anything, but he does not talk audibly every day from heaven all day, even though he's speaking all the time. Now the issue is, is do you or and me pick it up? And then what is he telling you to do? If you have ministry, amen. And if you don't, if you're just a layman, you still are a minister if you are a born again believer. Amen. Which means that you have to have a relationship with God for yourself. Amen. And only he can tell you your purpose. Only he can tell you what gifts that you have if you don't know it already or see it already, glory to God, or been where you want to be. Because like I said, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Amen. I'm what, And I jumped out here and didn't really know what I was doing, but, I, but what I did do say was yes. When God called me in 1989. All I said was yes. That's it. Didn't know. But all I said was yes. And I've been here and been delivered. I got the I got the offer drug June 18, 1988. It's been all 34 years. Be 35 in a minute. Amen. But all I said was yes. I'll, I'll do that. And I'm learning as I go. But now since I've been into really into this word and study, I'm learning a lot of things that we all should have known a long time ago. Let's read the scripture and I'll get into it and uh, and, and take it from there. In the Navy, they said, well, I'm going to shoot this across your bow. But it's got to be verifiable by the word of God. And I'm going to this word. Okay, it's got to be verifiable because as Dad Chandler said, read it for yourself. I didn't say the pastor. I said you as well. I didn't say not go against your pastor. But I said we all have to read it for ourselves, why? But remember, regardless, preacher, you potentate with it, it's been there all the time. And since it's been there all the time, he feeds and say that the evangelist, the uh, the the the, the uh, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, that's what they gotta preach. And I'll get to that in a minute. Psalms 40. Verse 1 says. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he heard my, and he, and he, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry, and he also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and I, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God, many will see it and fear, 
and will trust in the Lord. First three verses of Psalms 40. Father, we thank you for the word, the anointing that is on the word. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, praise God. Now, let me shoot this across your bow as we go. And remember, we do this thing together. That's what so forth Eddie Roy was concerned. In my ministry, we all grow together. If you look at uh, um, Top Gun, I've been looking at it, but this is Top Gun Maverick, the new one. This man towards the end, amen. See, leaders beget leaders, and they and they do this thing together. In military, in military, it's a cohesion. See what the devil does is divide and conquer, and he does that in the church, amen. I ain't, I ain't talking about out I, 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 I there. I'm talking about in the church. Amen. But I think, especially in the Navy, we was out there 30 days on it. We was like that. We're no arguing. We're no screaming like that. Because we was, a, number one, we the United States Navy, ready to go into battle, whatever it was. But we was like that. And we love one another. We looked out for one another. Amen. And, 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 and things that we learned. Okay. And he knew this mission. Okay. Maverick. Amen. Which is Tom Cruise, but his name was Pete Mitchell. And like I said, for when I was a little boy, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. And, um, uh, and but this almost impo uh, impossible, but he picked the least. And the one, his wingman, but he had a, a African-American, uh, 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 Hispanic that was on one plane that was the two-seater. The other two Fox Rock team was a woman. Her name, uh, her call sign was Phoenix and Bob. Least suspect. Here is the um, what they call uh, the narcissist. Now, as a wingman, and he had already told this person which he was getting ready to pick because his father used to fly with Maverick and got killed, and his and his son, a man, was now a pilot after he, they held him back for four years, and he blamed Maverick, but 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 he was timid. But Maverick knew that it was impossible. But you talk about a wingman, your next in command that got your back. And the narcissist said, I know you're going to pick me. And he picked Rooster. These are leaders. And, and in that mission, they was almost at the target. The kid was falling back. He said, kid, you can do it. You can do it. Don't think. Do. Amen. And he called on his daddy. And then he said, daddy. What's that? Next thing you know, change just like that. Ended up being the best pilot on that mission. Just like that. Because Maverick brought it out. And he brought us being up here. Stop it. We get in leadership and we forget. Amen. Leaders beget leaders. Helping folk. Young folk. Leaders begin to come down from the pulpit and grab somebody. Amen. I, like I told you, if you got a problem, you got you say you got an anointing, somebody's there, then, then you ain't got to meet me in my office. I'll meet you at the hamburger stand. I don't care if I am a potentate, Bishop. I'll meet you at the at, at, at the hamburger stand. I'll meet you at the at, at the at the uh, donut stand. We can walk down the street. I ain't no better than you. Hey, amen. I'm just here, I got a position, but that's it. Because after a while, you got the answer. If we don't do this thing right now. Jesus talked about tradition. And here in Mark 7, I have it down starting at the 11th verse, but I, I, I'm short on time. I got uh, 16 minutes. So, Look at that 13th verse. This is Jesus speaking. Read it for yourself. The 13th verse said, Making the word of God of no effect through your traditions. Now, in the King James Verse, it says religion. Made the what? Word of God of what? Our traditions, our rituals, all this. Sunday morning service, oh God, Sunday school, okay, fine, praise team, all this, you know, singing, preaching, altar call, uh, offering, that's it, what else, what else, so, 
traditions. Hmm? And we and Christianity or we call it Christians become a religion. I, and I, and I, I've noticed that. Traditions. But Jesus said, I did not write this. He said, because of your tradition, you have made the word of God of no effect, which you have handed down, and many such things you do. Tradition. It affected the word of God. I said it affected because of our traditions. Then let's look at let's look at uh, Matthew chapter 15. Let's start at verse 1. Okay, verse 1 said, Then the scribes and Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus saying, Why do your disciples transgress the traditions of the elders. These are the traditions of the elders. Why? Stay with me. For they do not wash their hands which they, when they eat bread. Here's Jesus' response. He said, Why do you also transgress? Hmm. The commandments of God, why? Because of your tradition. They prefer, they're looking at God in the flesh, but they put their traditions, everything they knew, their religion, everything else, over the word of God. The matter. Amen. And, he, and Jesus' biggest problem was religious folk. That's why he's called us, uh, uh, the king of, uh, 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 the friend of sinners who crucified him religious folk. Now, because of our traditions, <sighs> always busy, always busy. Traditions, religion, whatever, always giving you something to do. But now let me get into this quickly. Matthew chapter 10 verse 7. Matthew chapter 10 Let's look at verse 7. I'm going to the word. Matthew chapter 10. And verse 7. Yeah, boy. Let's start at 6. But go rather to the lost. Oh, God. This is Jesus speaking, brothers and sisters. He said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Watch, watch, watch. Verse 7. Read it. For your self. Now, we just talked about traditions. Okay? Read it. For your self. But this has been there all the time. Verse 7. And as you go preach. Didn't stop there. As you go what? Preach. Saying, didn't stop there, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Talked about the kingdom. Think about this. And I just got a few more scriptures because I, I don't have time. But Matthew, Mark, looking at what I, my research is showing, reading, his one message was the kingdom. And what he was messing up that cha cha is because of the fact that man, everybody was religious. That's why he hung with it. And he starts changing stuff. Amen. And that's another thing. Amen. That's oh let me let me get to that. Let me get to that. Matthew chapter 4, 17. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. Stay with me. Matthew chapter 4. I think this is Matthew. Verse 17. From the time, from that time, Jesus began to preach. Uh -uh. This is his first sermon. From that time, Jesus began to preach. From that time, Jesus began to preach. Didn't stop there. And to say, repent. That does not mean in that instance to say, I'm sorry. It said, change your mind. What kind of mentality do we have? Hmm. Why? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, or has arrived. And 
first one, as you go what? Preach. That's what you got to supposed to do. The kingdom, not religion. He never preached religion. He never preached for tradition. He went to the synagogue, but the only way he did in the synagogue was to preach what he was saying. He didn't get involved with them, but he went as, as his custom was. Huh? As you go preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's Matthew chapter 24, 17. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let me let every word be established. Let's see here. 24 and 17. Let's see. Uh, and that says, I'm sorry, 24, 14. Let's go there. Okay, now, now we know the gospel is good news. We know that, right? Now, we, we, we're sitting here and we're waiting on Jesus to crack the sky and that ain't going to work either. Okay? you you waiting. you supposed to be doing something. He said, work. That's how you get him back. Amen? Now, watch this. I did not write this. It's been there all the time. What it says here, Matthew 24 and 14, write it down. It says here, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom. Keep saying kingdoms a saint. It's up to you though. Preachers, pastors, it's up to you. Now that that says here in Matthew 4, he said, as you go what? Preach what? The kingdom. Now what? Now what? Now I, and I know so well, I know that's what it said, but I'm not gonna change. Well then it'll be changed for you because we getting towards the info. It's gonna be changed for you. Sorry. Well, I've been doing this for 50. I don't care. It's going to be changed. Since you refuse, it will be changed for you. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. What? The gospel of the what? Kingdom. Let's run out of time. Um, that's why Matthew 6.33 You know it by heart, but I, 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 you know, Matthew 6, 33, it talks about, um, talking about take no thought, but in my Bible, it's the King James Version, is don't worry, amen. Now watch this, now Matthew 6, 33, um, says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added. You never heard Jesus talk about prosperity. You never heard Jesus talk about healing. He just did it. Why? Because that's the kingdom. I'm praying for money. For what? Now, now even in, I find out from Matthew 25, he said all this, he said, therefore do not worry what you should eat or what you should drink or what you should wear. For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows you need all these things. So what are you asking about is in the kingdom. Amen. So, with that said, and, 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 and you know, with this new thing, they ain't really new. But we're talking about religion or traditions versus the preaching of the kingdom. Traditions, what we do, always got something, we're always busy for something to do. The kingdom talks about who you are, not what you're doing. The kingdom talks about what you're doing, who you are. What is it? King, kings, priests, royal priesthood, holy nation, that's what you are. If you make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, you're now a kingdom citizen. I did not write this, and that's just four script. It's all in there. I was looking at it's um in, in Matthew chapter 16, but I don't have time to get all the way to, into it. But then the and and we went over the commandments, but um, 
I'm going to get into that next week. But um, now we got got less than five minutes. So what am I saying? Number one, it says seek. You know, if you, the word said your hunger and thirst. Another thing I found out, if you don't want to seek it, if you don't want it, he ain't going to get it. We need knowledge. We need information. I don't need no sermons about dying. I already know that. God, you talking about going to heaven. God wants you chill, like the old folks say, right? Chill. He said, because he's, the word of God says that while you're at home, what? In this body. You are absent from the Lord. Hmm? So you're already home. Okay? I saw Jerusalem coming down. So when the, Jesus cracks the sky, when he sets up his rule, it'll be right chill. It doesn't matter. You're not going to heaven and put your feet in the water and, and drink milk and, 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 and eat honey and, amen, and, and run around heaven all day. That ain't happening. It's not happening. I didn't see it nowhere. I said, I, I, I don't see it nowhere. Okay? So, but, but, but these are the things that we're learning. And folks just, you know, I've been this way all my life. You know what I mean? I, I, I've taught this. I've preached this. I, I've lived, And I ain't changing. Okay. But if it's in that word, then what? I just don't, I, at some point, you're going to have to answer for it, for not changing. But you, you, it's going to change anyway before, you know, before Jesus cracks the sky. Why? Because he said, on this rock, I will build what? My, not Eddie. My church, not Eddie's church. We're talking about my, my, you know, no, no, no. That's why I gave it to the Lord. It ain't mine. Okay. I let him have it. Okay. Fine. And especially with my background, the way that you need this, if you you got an adversary, you that that that, that if look, look at Ephesians chapter six, the whole army, you need this. You can't go to, to, to go to, and you got a substance abuse issue, you got a mental health issue, you got this issue, you got that issue, and all you can hear is an itching ear sermon. Amen. That ain't gonna help you. I need some get something in me that's gonna help me live. All right. Amen. They give me the power to stay away from them drugs. Amen. But hold I give you a power. And that's the Holy Ghost. And many of you, if you save, then you need the Holy Ghost. I got it in a package. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Many of you been been you know saved for 50 years and never got the Holy Ghost. Never did. That's proven in the book of Acts. Acts 19. Never got the Holy Ghost. Listen. We thank and praise God for you. Amen. We're just about out of time. Tomorrow, 5985 Century Boulevard. That's in the city of Los Angeles at the Sonesta Hotel. Amen. We want to see your face in the place, and we will also be there Christmas. Amen. We're going to keep, we're going to have the service on Christmas. Amen. At 3 o'clock. The live stream will start at 3 o'clock. We thank you for your prayers and your donation. The cash app is dollar sign Eddie Royal KDM. Dollar, dollar sign Eddie Royal KDM. That money goes straight to that room. We thank you for those that have them. It goes. It, 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 it doesn't go to me. Amen. I have my own income. It, it, it doesn't mean that okay. Well, the, the, well, the pastors. No, 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 no. I'm just saying I have mine. So if you want a, a printout or where it goes, just ask me. And then as we expand it, we've already engaged in a um um. Or an accounting firm as well, but it goes straight to the the column bar room. Also, if you want to just call uh, the uh, the hotel that said this is for King David Ministries uh, for their Sunday live stream, they'll be glad to take it over the phone. Okay, so we thank and praise God for you, Amen. If you have not made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life right now, Romans ten nine and ten says, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead you shall be saved and so do that right now when you do that you automatically you have been translated into the kingdom of God's dear son which is the kingdom of heaven amen praise God we love you 5985 Century Boulevard tomorrow at 3 o'clock also keep sister uh, Geraldine uh, uh, Chandler in prayer Amen. And we'll be talking about that more on tomorrow. Check that live stream. I keep looking at these podcasts. Keep looking. I'll be on every day. 
you know, as the Lord directs me to do that. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Bye. King David Ministries with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. The ministry can be heard every Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on KTYMGospel.net.